Hey guys, sorry about the bad lighting, but I'm out here in the shed because it's kind of hot out there in the sun. But anyway, after riding this trike around a while, I did notice that the brakes on this aren't quite up to the uh, modern bicycle safety standards, I don't think. I mean, it has a 160 millimeter disc in the front just with a mechanical caliper. And after bedding in the pads, that only kind of slows you down. So with weight on this, I'm not sure it would stop. So what I thought about doing was just taking this front brake lever and then running a uh, a rim caliper on here because I have enough room between the brake boss and this thing here. But I would put both brakes on the front. Still kind of want one in the rear. I mean, they come with these band brakes, but these things are basically just decoration. And I've got this thing all the way down. Any tighter than it's just going to drag. All it does is make noise and nothing else. So I was looking at it, and it has this adapter here, because this drum here is, is a screw-on. But if this has the standard threads on there, which I think is like 34 millimeters or something like that, you could probably get a disc adapter for this. And all you got to do is worry about building a bracket for a caliper. I mean, I have... Well, I know I have at least 7 centimeters here, between here... And the bar back here, I mean, I couldn't fit a 160 on I don't think. But a 140 should work. And I know Sun Trikes, they uh, sell an adapter for the disc, but they also use a woodruff key. This just has a flat spot on the axle, so I might get lucky and be able to get away with that. If not, I can always come up with something. But I'm thinking if I put a disc back here and put one of those cable actuated hydraulic calipers, one back here and then one on the front, that might be enough to uh, stop this thing. I'm going to know the uh, free wheel over back here, this lighter wheel, that's not going to stop. So the only wheel I have to stop would just be this one and the front. But like I said, that band brake back here does nothing. It's just decoration. There's no point even having it there. So anyway, I think I'll hunt around on Amazon See if I can come up with some cheap parts, because I'm kind of getting tired of putting money into this thing. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, throw in some clips if I get some parts going. All right, back in a little bit. Well, as you can see, I managed to get it apart. I would have videoed that, but I was just too lazy to dig around out here in storage looking for my tripod. But anyway, I'll show you that junk in a minute. One other thing I noticed is, well, on the band brake, the cable runs all the way through the bottom of the frame and then ends right about here. I'm gonna end up putting a caliper up here. So that means the cable's too short. So what I'm gonna have to do there is just uh, reroute the cable back from here and down, just run it across the top tube and then zip tie it on like I did the one I did for the uh, front derailleur and run it across down here and then it'll reach. So I don't have to worry about buying another cable. Anyway, I'll come back here in a second and show what I got going up on the other side here. Well, these things are pretty easy to take apart, but I'll give you a quick rundown anyway. Just pull off the wheel nuts, which are 22 millimeters. Pull off this washer. Here on the left side, there's a small spacer that goes between the wheel and the outer bearing. And the inner bearing here, I have this one off because this one's kind of crunchy, so I'm going to replace it. Inside here, there's a longer spacer between this bearing and the free wheel. And both the free wheel and the band brake are held on by these. And uh, these bolts here are five millimeter allens pretty easy to do just loosen them all the way up so it just moves everything moves freely uh, the outside of the band breaks easy you pull off the cable which only takes a 10 millimeter these two here about 10 millimeters and this one here is eight millimeters so once you have all this loosened up you just push on this side and run the axle through and everything just kind of falls on the floor now, one of the things I've been playing around with is this. See, this will actually spin off. And I measured this really quick. The only thing I have to measure with is this, so it's not perfectly accurate, but close enough. But it does look like these threads are going to be about 34 millimeters. So I'm going to buy an adapter for this to hold the disc and get myself a probably about a 140 millimeter disc and see how that fits. And when I get all that stuff done... I'll just put that up on here. And if you're curious, if you have these bearings, well, they should all be the same, most of these Chinese ones. 
But if you want to know what these numbers are ahead of time, in case you want to get a couple spares, these carriers or axle bearings, these are 6202 RS. And the wheel bearings, in case you need one, mine are just fine. It's 6302-2 RS. So a little bit taller and a little bit thicker than the ones down here. Anyway, that's pretty easy to pull apart. So catch you guys in a little bit. Well, I got some parts ordered. I've got the uh, adapters, and by the way, this does fit right on the part that's already on the bike. It came off the uh, van brake. I've got the cable actuated hydraulic calipers, got the bearings, all its bolts, 140 millimeter discs, and I got these brackets here that are normally to put disc brakes on just, you know, pretty much any bike, and I was going to use these, and I decided not to. What I'm going to do is try to make my own bracket, this right here. It's going to be somewhat what the profile is going to be. This right now is just made out of plastic. But uh, what I'm thinking is the uh, upper and lower mounting points for that band brake would be these two mounting holes here. And then these be 51 millimeters apart that should hold the calipers. So I'll keep adjusting that. And when I get this figured out and get the measurements just right, I'll go find somebody with a uh, CNC plasma cutter and have a few of these bad boys cut out. So, let the fun begin. All right, forget about what I said about making brackets. I guess I don't have to. These bolts here that came with it were too long, so I put shorter ones here. Otherwise, they were going through and hitting the disc. And those are the brackets. On the other side of this bolt, I attached that hook part to here. The first hole is hooked to this one. And the second hole actually holds this bracket here. And, of course, I got the short one here, and that's going through that top tab that was holding the... Uh, band brake on there seems to be working all right took it off for a quick test ride i kind of have it adjusted but i'll have to tweak with that once it gets bedded in let me go up here on the seat and show you it's really on the back side of that bigger bolt i put this end and this hole here is actually going through the caliper mount and this one here is now taking the place of these i only have one of these bolts that go through it but then this is wrapped around the frame and then i've got the first bolt going through here yeah, it's actually holding it it's nice and tight nothing's moving so yeah this is a whole lot better than a band break and it seemed to work fine everything went in pretty easy so hopefully it's exactly the same on hers which i think it should be because she also has this bolt here i can use and the same tabs and everything so Guess my next project will be tearing hers apart and putting discs on the back of her trike. So, all right. Disc brakes instead of those miserable band brakes. All right, I guess that's it for this project, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.